Hi, my name is Nick Holmes and today I'm delighted to show you a Brazilian Corinho I wrote using the chromatic approach technique. Let's now listen to my approach note tune recorded with some friends recently from Buenos Aires. Afterwards I will show you a surefire technique that you can use to write your own chromatic approach tune. Hope you enjoy. Step 1 of how to write your chromatic approach tune. Choose the overall form first. This can be thought of as the skeleton on which everything will hang. The form I chose is similar to many traditional chorinhos. Let's take a look. It starts in F major, then after 8 bars it modulates to F major's relative minor, D minor. After another 8 bars, it modulates to D minus parallel major, D major. After the jazz-like 8 bar bridge, the tonality changes back to D minor, the parallel minor to D major. Finally, the piece returns to F major where it started and the melody is recapitulated. So, to review the form and keys, F to D minor to D major to D minor back to F major. Step 2 Choose the chords that you will be approaching. The chords I used are really simple, mostly 1, 4 and 5 of the various key centers. Let's listen through now and check out the chords and see their functions in Roman numeral notation. Step 3. Approach the chord tones. 
No, please, you do not need to put the target chord tone squarely on each beat, as this can quickly sound boring. Here is the first phrase in F major. In red, you can see the notes of the triad. So firstly, the fifth of the F triad, C, is approached chromatically from below. Then the third of F major, A, is surrounded, if you like, from above and below chromatically. Then the tonic, F, is approached from above and below. Then the fifth again, C, is approached with two notes. The phrase then ends on the third of C7, E natural. A major chord can be approached in many ways. Let's listen to a few. Okay, this is the one note approach. Now we'll try the two note approach and see how that sounds. Try the three note approach. We'll try the four note approach. By the way, this piece and the recorded backing track is available to download at jazzduets.com. Now to the D minor section. Here are the arpeggio notes, and here are the approach notes. For me, this is interesting as there are three arpeggio notes and two approach notes. These groups of five notes create a cross rhythm. <laughs> Any minor chord can be approached in many ways. Here are a few to try. Okay, now I'm going to approach the minor triad with one note. I'm going to approach the minor triad with two notes. And now to 
the three note approaches on the minor. To finish the four note approaches. By the way, please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. In the bridge, the piece goes to the parallel major of the previous D minor, D major. After the bridge, the tune returns again to the D minor section with some two note approaches this time for variety. <music> to finish, the tune recapitulates to F major, the relative major to D minor where it started. Thanks for watching. If you want to download the music and play along, please visit jazzduets.com. See you next time.